Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Vegas Image, and we're talking about text today. So this is something that you're going to be dealing with a lot. Uh, this is um, some candles that my wife makes, and we are um, adding some labels in. A friend of mine designed these labels. Uh, I'm just adding in some of some names of some candles uh, that she's made since the design and I figured it'd be a great time to talk about how Vegas image works uh, with text and so there's a lot of different options you have so first off you don't actually highlight the text on the editor you can rotate it on the editor here by this little rotation piece um, and whoops control Z if you want to reselect it, if you select something else, just click on the layer it's on. Uh, this one is a copy to it. Don't worry about my setup here. Essentially, all you have to do to create a new text layer is just create text layer, and you have exactly what I'm working with already. So I'm going to delete that there. But uh, if you click on your text layer, you can always go back to it and reset it up exactly how you want it. Notice, too, it was showing uh, the degrees. I have it turned right at 360 or zero I guess it's right at 360 it is perfectly level so um, if you want to edit the text in it you actually have to come down here to the left hand corner to the content and you can select it all and edit it to new stuff uh, and it'll auto kind of wrap based off the size you can change the size out here uh, and you can also change the sizing uh, auto or fixed, where auto will get make it bigger as you type, uh, while uh, fixed won't make it bigger as you type. You'll have to kind of fix the size yourself. I'm going to hit Control Z a couple of times there. Um, so with fixed, though, the good news is is you can kind of make sure that the text is going to stay where you want it. While auto, it might start moving around the screen in a place you don't want it. So um, mine auto wraps there because it hits the end of the size of the text box so this is text box sizing uh, you can also deal with the sizing down here in percentages not just clicking and dragging but that's your text box sizing now what if you want it uh, to be left right or centered in the middle of the text box well that's simple make sure your text is highlighted before you do any change you can make it center at the top center at the middle or center at the bottom I mine I just chose center at the bottom but whatever works best for you um, this is the where top middle or bottom if you want it to be on the left or right then you can left indent middle or right indent based off your standard paragraph settings so you can also do some offset indenting I'm gonna hit control Z there and then uh, you can increase your line spacing as well make things further apart and how their lines actually lay or closer together and you could just kind of resize the text box to fit if it starts moving out of your zone um, because you're just adding more line spacing so we're gonna leave this at a hundred percent for me my purposes then um, here you can change uh, the where the exact paragraph line starts I'm gonna hit control Z you can change where the paragraph line ends. If you want to strike through your text, you just select the T. If you want to underline it, you select the T with an underline on it. You can super text it. So like, oh, whoopsie. So if I come down here to my text box and I want to type two and make it look like it's squared, you can do a super, you can do a sub or a super by just toggling these uh, little text box right here. Pretty simple, pretty neat. If you want to change something from, I have typed this in all caps, if you want to change it to lowercase, you can just hit this lowercase button. If you want to change it to all caps, you can hit this all caps button. This one I have it in all caps, but if I type to new sent, whoopsie, can't type. If I type new sent, see, it'll, it'll, capitalize everything but leave the capital small if you have lowercase so it'll like do a small caps kind of thing which is pretty cool this is how you change the color of the text you can choose any color you want for me I'm gonna go back to black so I'm gonna hit cancel and then you can change the this is changing the font outline colors if you decide to add an outline to your font 
you can add it here. That's just adding 100% outline, 50% outline, 10% outline. Uh, I have it red so you can see it. It's pretty gross, so hopefully you would never make it like that. Next, um, we have the size. This is simple. This is just how the font size would be. If you could change it up, down, something really big, really small. And again, pay attention to your text box size and you can easily outdo it if you have it on fixed, which it is by default. Uh, this is your kerning. Right now I have mine on 99% kerning, uh, but kerning is the space between the letters. So if you want your letters to be really far apart, you can do like 150% kerning. But if you want them to be really close together, you could do like 5% kerning. Let's see what happens when I do 5% kerning. We can click this little percentage here, or click in the middle, and then when you get this double arrow for any of these, um, you can actually when it's highlighted and you get the double arrow you can uh, adjust it like so so slide it in and out so if you want some kind of like an overlaying kind of thing especially if you've got an outline or something it might work um, for, for me I'm gonna go back to 99 and then uh, if you want to change your font type when you have it selected you can change to any font you have installed on your computer change it to it might change the sizing and stuff but it'll definitely give you a lot of fun options here so um, yeah and then uh, this is whether your font, this depends on the font you have. Some fonts don't have uh, a lot of different versions. So like that is a light version of the font. So it's a light version over here, but some fonts, let's see, Times New Roman, some standard fonts, right? Uh, have a regular bold, bold italic or italic versions. Uh, sometimes they have a light version where they might be skinnier in between stuff like that So that's how you can select your bold or italicies and things and it only affects it only affects what you have highlighted So if you want the rest of it to be italics and the front one not to be in italics You just change what you have highlighted down here in your content That is a quick and easy guide to adding and manipulating text in Vegas image. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video helped you out. I do all sorts of Vegas creative software tutorials here on this channel. This is a simple one. We do more complex ones, simpler ones. Try to hit the whole breadth of where everybody's at in the creation process. So thank you so much for watching. There's helpful links in the description. I'll see you guys next time.